I've just entered the Victoria University of Wellington Library to see how students in their natural habitat are preparing for the dangers of the examination period. Some have tackled the environment ill-prepared, while others have learnt the right survival skills to make it through. I'm Bear Grylls, and I'm going to find out how many students can drink their own piss. I mean, know how to start studying and make it out alive. Alright, so could you share some light on how you think would be a good way to start studying? Well, I usually start on Netflix, then I feel really guilty and actually start. I generally open up like YouTube, Facebook, um, just a bunch of tabs that generally aren't really study related. I just look at my lecture notes and try and copy them down a couple of times. Often I'll read through all the notes first. Um, I reckon going over notes, but sometimes it can get kind of boring and sometimes it's just just doesn't go in, yeah, yeah, it's not that helpful. Do you do anything with the information other than just writing notes? Um, I just I just write them over and over again. Usually it's a fairly slow process. I'll spend a lot of time browsing the Facebook feed, you know, looking at some dank memes, and eventually it'll just come about. I'll uh, load up the study track, and then I'll think, you know, this is actually really important. In about 10 years' time, this is really going to be significant to me. Maybe these memes will not, so I'll just start ripping into it. So what's the goal of studying? Studying is about learning as much content as possible in the least amount of time as possible. Yeah, so we all have better things to get to, so the key is to learn how to study efficiently. Yep. Now in a previous episode we talked about going to the gym and studying, and a lot of people wrote back saying that they sucked at doing both. Yeah, I've got a few of your guys' comments right here. Um, one of them is, I can't do either, lol. And the other one is, great, so now I'm fat and failing. Yeah, so we thought we'd better address how to actually start studying. And the box box kind of show that most people just surf the web or just read their notes or write them out, which isn't really the most efficient way. Yeah, I know I was, when I was studying, I was doing a lot of writing out my notes. And like studies show that for every hour that you spend writing out those notes, you're only getting 12 minutes of productive studying done. So what should we actually be doing then? We've all had the same feeling of opening up a computer, opening a Word document and just staring blankly at the screen, not knowing where to begin. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we've actually actively got to do something with that information that's staring at us. Yeah, because if you're just reading or writing your notes, then it's kind of like doing push-ups with your knees. But if you learn the right technique of how to do it, then you'll save yourself so much time and study 10 times faster. So the first thing you can do is summarise the information. This is a good way to kind of get an overview of the subject and you know it's good to avoid the temptation of just writing or reading out all of your notes. So a good way to do this is you can get a piece of A4 paper and try and condense all your information of a topic on that piece of paper and therefore you're kind of deciding what's important and what's not important and so actively basically engaging with the information. And one way I've done this is a mind map. So by using a small piece of paper, I've popped down photosynthesis, popped all my ideas down, and managed to fit everything that I believe I need to learn on this piece of paper in my own words. Sweet, and that's a good way of also kind of drawing relations between the topics and being able to like physically see it, so you can learn it. So giving yourself examples that you know allow you to relate to your information is also a really good way of remembering. Like memorizing H K M L S T is a lot harder than memorising the name William, even though they're seven letters. Exactly, because William's got meaning, so it's much easier for your brain to remember. So it's the same with your study. If you give it some sort of context or some sort of meaning for each concept, then it'll cement in your brain a lot better. And finally, you need to test yourselves. This is a great way of finding any holes or gaps in your knowledge. Yeah, so a lot of people tend to avoid this initially because you, know, you feel really weak, like looking at things and realising what you don't know and you know, not doing things that are comfortable that you do know, but it'll help you way more in the long run. So you can do this by finding exam exemplars online, or covering your notes and rewriting them, or even doing some flashcards. Yeah, or creating your own questions and testing yourself like that, or even you know, working with a friend and marking each other's work. All right guys, just to summarize, don't just fall into the trap of writing the info that you know because it feels comfortable and copying out notes or just reading them because you're not really engaging your brain and you're gonna learn way less efficiently. 
All right, guys, that's all from us. Till next time, you can catch us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Or check out the website for more study tips and resources. See ya. Cheers.